Hello everyone, this video is about scale degrees and the relationship that various uh, syllable systems for sight singing are related to those uh, scale degrees. So first things first, let's give some scale degree numbers to the different parts of this scale. Um, now as we can see it's a C major scale, so there are seven different notes. So it would stand to reason that for the names of those uh, different notes, scale degree-wise, we just give them the letters. So the first note in the scale is 1, the second is 2, the third is 3, the fourth is 4, the fifth is 5th, fifth. the sixth is 6th, sixth. Um, then the seventh is seventh, and then we're back to the same note, so we're back to one. Um, so why don't we put those numbers into the chart? Um, now we have given those various skill degrees um, certain names. So uh, the first skill degree is called the tonic. The second skill degree is called the uh, super tonic. Um, way to remember that is super meaning above. It's above tonic by a step. Um, then we have the mediant, um, or what splits the octave into three pieces. Um, and then we have the fourth scale degree. Alright, uh, word won't recognize it, but that's how you spell it. Um, then we have the fourth scale degree, which is the subdominant. Then we have the dominant uh, for the fifth scale degree. Then for the sixth scale degree, we have the submediant. And then for the seventh scale degree, we have the leading tone. Um, now, you may be wondering why some of these names are applied. Um, in terms of the tonic, median, and dominant, um, that, that's just kind of the names that they're given, but the other ones are, um, given specifically in relation to other pitches. So, um, the second skill degree is the supertonic, again, because it's above the tonic, super meaning above. Um, the subdominant is called that because the dominant is a fifth above the first skill degree, and the subdominant is a fifth below the first skill degree. Um, the submediant is called that because while the median is a third above this first scale degree, the submediant is a third below the first scale degree. And the leading tone is called the leading tone because it leads to the first scale degree. Um, so there we have it. Now, um, if we were to um, now uh, assign sulfur syllables to this, um, we'll go. Um, then we'll be able to find out more relations to those syllables and the scale. So let's start with um, La Base Minor Movable Do. Since we're in a major uh, key, uh, then the first scale degree is Do, the second is Re, then is Mi, then is Fa, then is Sol, then La, then T. Um, the same goes for Do Base Minor. It's Re, it's Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T. Um, so right now, um, it seems in major keys, both Do base minor and La base minor, um, Do is the first scale degree, Re is the second scale degree, Mi is the third scale degree, Fa is the fourth scale degree, Sol is the fifth scale degree, La is the sixth scale degree, and T is the seventh scale degree. Now right now this may not seem important, but when you're doing chorale harmonization, this will become an important relationship to keep in mind. Um, if you're singing on scale degree numbers, well, you're singing on the scale degree numbers, so that'll tell you that right there. Um, now let's go to a minor key. So the scale degree numbers are the same. So the first scale degree is 1, and the second is 2, third is 3, fourth is 4, 5 is 5, 6, Seven, eight, well, one, actually. Um, so let's complete that side of the chart again. Um, and the scale degree names are the same. Um, the tonic, supertonic, 
maybe an subdominant dominant then we have the submediant and we have the leading tone um just an, a note again on these scale degree names another way to remember the subdominant is that it's below the dominant, so sub meaning below. Um, also, the only scale degree name I've ever heard about of changing is um, changing the leading tone to the subtonic. However, that's only if uh, this B were flat, but since this is a harmonic minor uh, scale, the leading tone is not flat, so it's, it's still the leading tone. Uh, now let's fill in the solfa syllables again. So for La bass minor, this would be La, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, C. Now, for Do bass minor, this would be Do, Re, Re, Me, Fa, Sol, Le, T. Um, so this is where we start to see a discrepancy between the two uh, systems. Um, because now the scale degrees don't pertain to the same syllables. In Do bass minor, the scale degree, the first scale degree is always going to be a Do. The second scale degree is always going to be a Re. The third scale degree is always going to start with an M. The fourth scale degree is always going to be Fa. The fifth scale degree is always going to be Sol. The sixth scale degree is always going to start with an L. And you know, it's going to be layer or La, and then the seventh scale degree is always going to be T or Te if it's flat. Um, but for La bass minor, now the scale degrees and the syllables have completely switched. So um, now La is the first scale degree, T is the second instead of the seventh, Do is the third instead of the first, Re is the fourth instead of the second, Mi is the fifth instead of the third, Fa is the sixth instead of the fourth, and C is the seventh instead of a sharp five. Um, so this is just something to keep in mind with these to keep it all straight um, with yourself again for future reference and chorale harmonization. Um, if you're doing a fixed do by any chance, you just need to know what key you're in. Um, there isn't a trick as they all um, they change all the time, which uh, scale degree is which. Um, something to keep in note. Scale degree names are not the same as the names for the parts of a chord. So if a question asks you what are the different parts of a chord, you cannot say the tonic, median, and dominant. Those are the parts of the one chord, but those aren't the parts of any chord. Um, which, of course, the parts of any chord are the root, the third, and the fifth. Um, so there's just things to keep in mind. You cannot exchange scale degree names and chord part names unless you're specifically talking about those scale degrees. Um, well, that's all on scale degrees. See you guys later.